up here in your Howe Mountain vineyard. Uh, and you have been making wines for 40 years in Napa, both on the valley floor and up in the mountains. What would you say are the main differences between valley floor and mountain? Well, the obvious main difference is altitude. <laughs> So we have two, we're at 2,000 feet or 700 meters here versus virtually uh, um, sea level down there, or maybe 150 feet. Um, the main differences are that um, the climate up here is the later climate for ripening fruit, for growing fruit. Everything starts later, ends later. So our fruit ripens in a fall weather pattern on the mountain, cooler nights, uh, shorter days versus the valley floor where fruit ripens in the heat. Um, there are greater stresses built into the mountain system, so the soils are more weathered, they don't hold water, water perks through or runs off, uh, so the vines must work harder to get water and nutrition. The struggle shifts the emphasis of their physiology into their fruiting bodies. Nice. And within the mountains, there's also quite a lot of variation. Um, can you give us like a 101 on some of the mountains that you work on? Yeah, so I work on three, I grow grapes on three of the mountains, uh, um, those being Howl Mountain, Mount Veeder, and uh, Atlas Peak. They all have their own personalities. Um, the, the more southerly ones are closer to the maritime influences of the bays, uh, San Pablo Bay and Sassoon Bay. So it's cooler, uh, the wines don't develop as much muscle, uh, but they retain their acidity, which gives them nice brightness and, and cherry-like personality. Up here on Howl Mountain, where we are now, we're more extreme. Our weather, weather uh, during the ripening season gets quite cool. We're quite late, but we don't have as deep of dips because of the maritime influence, which was just lacking up here. There's more of a warmth dirt during the night up here. So we get the most muscular, more structured Cabernets up here on Hell Mountain. Super. And you are a cab man, but you're also a Merlot man. <laughs> That's right, I am. Where, what would you say, I mean, which is the variety that thrives most here? Well, Cabernet, obviously. I think people have been scared off by uh, the bad press that Merlot received 10 or 15 years ago because it was overplanted. It became such a popular grape that it was planted in soils that were probably more suitable for growing asparagus. Uh, that invites mediocrity as, a, as your bedfellow. Um, I've never had bad Merlot vineyards that I've been working with. I've always been working with some great ones. And so uh, my Merlot programs have persevered and they have prospered. Um, you know, I like my Cabernet with a good steak and I like my Merlot with a great lamb. <laughs>